Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko will spend the weekend in police custody after being arrested in a day of high drama that saw him nabbed in Voy and airlifted to Nairobi for apprehension. Sonko, alongside eight other Nairobi County staffers, wanted for 357 million shillings irregular procurement and payments. Sonko's arrest coming after the Director of Public Prosecutions ordered his arrest and prosecution over corruption charges. It was the end of the road, quite literally, for the flamboyant, dramatic Nairobi County boss. Sonko's road literally ending at a police roadblock in Voi as he was escaping arrest. EACC officers had been thrown off guard at first after Sonko switched off all his local numbers to avoid tracking. A source saying he had changed his phone numbers at least 17 times since he recorded a statement in September. Detectives had resorted to monitoring his bodyguards. <laughs> Around midday, a trace was placed on Sonko's Dubai number and a signal picked him up on Nairobi-Mombasa Highway en route to Mombasa. Coordinating with the Kenya police, ESCC officers alerted police officers in Voi who mounted a roadblock awaiting to net him. But his arrest was not without resistance. The governor tried to resist almost biting off the hand of an arresting officer. But overpowered, he was handcuffed, placed under arrest. This as a police chopper was scrambled from Wilson Airport to Voi Airstrip to pick him up. Again, it was high drama as the governor fought officers. Sonko was bundled into the aircraft Nairobi bound for processing before being locked up through the weekend. With a handful of supporters at Wilson Airport, security was beefed up to escort the convoy from the airport to Integrity Center. The governor was sneaked through a dark alley to avoid his supporters. With three security chaskers, the Sonko convoy was rushed through the city traffic, destination Integrity Center. Eventually, with the arrest of Sonko, EACC was a no-go zone with security officers deployed to man the area from would-be Sonko supporters from disturbing the peace. The roads leading to Integrity Center blocked by police trucks as officers diverted traffic to other routes. Nothing was being left to chance. This following a stern warning issued by the DPP early in the day while ordering for the arrest and prosecution of Sonko. We shall not allow such dastardly acts to go on and I have directed the law enforcement agencies to investigate any such attempts and upon establishment of evidence additional charges shall be preferred against those perpetuating these acts. Also arrested is Peter Karioki, the county's secretary and Patrick Mwangangi who is the head of supply chain in Nairobi County. ESCC is still in pursuit of four members of the county's tender evaluation committee and two senior clerical officers, namely Wambu Andaka and Andrew Nyasiego. Also wanted for benefiting from funds irregularly acquired from the city county include two directors of Hardy Enterprises Limited and Toad Engineering and the two companies themselves, Hardy Enterprises and Toad Civil Engineering. Likewise, Web Tribe Limited, ROG Security Limited, Danson Mushemi Njinji, a director at Web Tribe, Robert Murwe Muna, equally a Web Tribe director, Zablon Onyango Ochomo, an agent of Web Tribe, Frederick Odhiambo of Euro Enterprise and Antonio Tieno Mbok, a director at ROG Security Limited, are wanted for money laundering. The wanted persons facing eight charges of alleged graft and money laundering, the amount in question being over 357 million shillings. The investigation by Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission uncovered numerous instances of criminal conduct and a general disregard of the law by the governor and others being charged. Always in display of defiance, bravado, theatrics and drama to shield himself from authorities, a manhunt is on for the Nairobi County boss wanted for pilferage of over 300 million shillings from public coffers. Simultaneous raids on his properties yielding nothing as the governor went into hiding to avoid arrest. Early in the day, ESCC was on a wild goose chase, pitching camp at various Sonko homes and offices within the city. Sonko in a statement claiming the case against him was a pack of well-choreographed lies. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.